everyone, this is Peter Brown with uh, Look at Your Weather Today, and I hope you all survived the big power outage that we had um, just this past day. We had nice warm weather that came up, but unfortunately came with a lot of wind and it knocked down a lot of the trees causing the power outage. As we look at the almanac though here, we're going to see temperatures starting off a period on April 1st, April Fool's Day, everybody's favorite day. We're going to see temperatures up near 60, not too far from there, but a little bit warmer than the average, that's for sure. As we move to the end of the period, we're going to start to see temperatures for April. Of course, our average temperatures are going to start to rise, that's for sure. And of course, the, most, the best thing you can notice about this time of the year is look at how long the days are now. The sun is setting now well past 7 o'clock at night. So that's a, a great part about spring, but unfortunately, as we go ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to be going on with our weather for this upcoming period, and it's going to feel anything like April coming up, unfortunately. We're going to get through a nice warm Friday, but unfortunately, Saturday night into Sunday, we may see some snow mix in with some rain with very cold temperatures by Sunday in the 30s. As we move into next week, as we get into Monday and Tuesday, we also have to introduce the idea of Tuesday maybe a little bit more snow and there's a little bit of an indication we might have some accumulating snow on Tuesday maybe as much as two to three inches with temperatures only in the mid 30s. But with the strong April sun that's actually going to go away fairly quickly and we'll be back up near average to a little bit above by the time we get to the, um, by the time we get to the end of the week but unfortunately we're going to have to deal with a little bit of snow coming up so as you can see on this map the low pressure is going to be kind of close to us but still not close enough to give us rain, mostly snow. Um, and for all of you who are probably in the Burlington area, most of you probably remember about this time 19 years ago on the April Fool's Day storm in 1997, where we got over 30 inches of snow in many locations around Boston. So, and I have to tell you, a week before that, it had been near 80 degrees, just uh, not too much different than what we have just been seeing. So hopefully that's not a, not a harbinger of what might be coming, but <laughs> just something to keep in the back of your mind. And as we look at the seven-day forecast, though, coming up, we're going to see temperatures, like I said, on Friday, starting out um, above average, you know, in the upper 50s near 60. But that chance of snow moving in Saturday night into Sunday. But Tuesday, some real cold comes down. We see temperatures in the mid to maybe only the upper 30s with some accumulating snow. And again, moderating by the time we get to the end of the week, we'll see some warmer temperatures with maybe a chance of some light rain moving in. So I hope you all enjoy the April weather. And unfortunately, it looks like April's going to be more winter-like than our winter was. But enjoy the weather and have a great week.